Hi, this is Peter from the DJ Podcast. In this video, we'll be looking at the Preview Player in Native Instruments Tractor Pro 2. The Preview Player allows you to listen to the tracks in your track collection without adding them to a track deck. Let's look at how to actually use it. The first thing is locating it. You'll see the Preview Player on the left-hand side of the browser right above the search bar and the folder structure of your track collection. If you don't see it there, that's okay. That just means that you have it turned off in the preferences. Speaking of the preferences, let's go there now and look at some of the preferences that we need to make sure are selected for the preview player to work. So we're gonna go to the top right of Tractor Pro 2 and click on the cogwheel icon. That'll open up the preferences, and I'm just going to move it over here so that you can see the preview player. You're going to want to go down to the Browser Details tab. You'll see that there's an option called Show Preview Player. Right now we have it checked, which means that the preview player is turned on. If you don't see the preview player, so it'll look like this, just make sure that you click on the button and that the check is enabled to show the preview player. Now that you have the preview player on the screen, we are going to need to go and set up the audio options for it. For this, we're going to go to the output routing tab. The preview player will send its output through your sound card via the output preview section on this window. Right now in the output preview section, we have the output set to not connected, which means that it is not sent through one of our outputs. We are going to change that. So we're gonna click on left, and then we're going to go to the output that we want to send it to. And so we're going to go to 5, and then we're going to go to right and select 6. So we have the output of the preview player going to channels 5 and 6 on our sound card. Now that we have that set up, we're going to close the preferences. With everything set up, it is time to use the preview player. So how do we use it? Well, it's very simple. All you have to do is click and drag on a track from your collection and drop it into the preview player. You'll see that it loads a little waveform and with that orange play button illuminated will play automatically. There are two different controls that you have when using the preview player. The first is that you can click on the waveform to jump around in time. You can see that a black bar goes over the waveform to indicate where you are in the track. It also has a little bit of text to remind you of what track you're listening to. You can also play and pause the track that's in the preview player by clicking on the illuminated play button to stop it, and then clicking on the button again to start. To listen to the track that's playing in the preview player, cue the channel on your mixer that we set up before with the output routing that was set to the output preview. Once you've found the track that you want to play next, you can simply drag and drop the track from the preview player into one of your track decks. This makes it easy to take the track from the preview player and start playing it in your mix without having to worry about finding it again inside of the track collection. If you use the preview player a lot, you may want to assign some MIDI mappings or keyboard shortcuts to the controls for the preview player. To do that, go to the preferences by clicking on the cogwheel icon up in the top right. Then go to the controller manager tab. With either the keyboard or your MIDI controller selected, click on the add in button. Then go down to the preview player options. You'll see the five options for the preview player, which you can select and map your MIDI control or keyboard keys too. This wraps up our look at the preview player in Native Instruments Tractor Pro 2. If you liked this video tutorial, please check out the other tutorials on my channel, including videos on how to scratch using the Gator Effect, how to use cues and loops, and how to record your mix right inside of Tractor Pro 2. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to the channel to get notified when new videos are posted.